My name is Dr. Kenneth Schultz. I'm recording this video because I think it might be help to the healthcare professionals in this country as well as our citizenry as it pertains to protective face gear for COVID-19. I'm board certified in internal medicine and I'm a, a fellow in the College of American College of Emergency Physicians. I also have central sleep apnea from living at high altitude in Denver, Colorado. And here is my equipment. I have a ResMed IPAP CPAP machine with tubing that attaches to my mouth, nasal, face mic, and gear like this. I had been thinking about how many face masks are currently in production. There are over 4 million Americans that use these machines, and I believe that these masks can be converted to protective masks very easily by the companies that make these machines and the uh, parts and equipment. This face mask has headgear. It is a solid, thick plastic with a soft plastic liner, impervious to fluids and liquids. And as I mentioned, it attaches very simply to the tubing to the IPAP machine. I thought that if the manufacturers can simply make a plug that goes into the face mask that contains a filter and um, an air vent, this can be converted into a protective mask. And here's how it's worn. Now, obviously you can't be running around with the machine. However, this piece that connects to the tubing can be taken apart and attached to the face mask. With the machine comes filters that the company makes. I do not know whether or not these filters only filter out dust or viral or bacterial part particles as well. It fits into the machine on the side. So when air is taken into the machine, it filters the air and prevents dust particles. Again, I am not sure whether these filters can filter virus particles. However, this is an N95 3M mask that I have used in my shop for woodworking. But these are the masks that people are using and trying to buy and trying to manufacture and also are in horribly short supply in this country. So my thought was if the manufacturers of the CPAP and IPAP masks can substitute the filter and the breathing port into this piece from the ResMed respirator IPAP CPAP machine, then you have a a COVID-19 mask that is not only reusable, but can be gas sterilized and can be used over and over again. There are millions of these uh, masks currently in the United States, and I don't know how many are available in supply houses that provide the CPAP, IPAP users with um, materials for their um, uh, CPAP, IPAP needs. So here, for example, is the filter. If the companies that already make these can substitute the filter, cut it, cut it out or whatever, 
put it in here with a respiratory port and just sell these to the people who already have the face masks and the hospitals that have these as well, we might be able to have an additional supply of very good COVID protective gear. I am putting this on YouTube and Facebook. I don't know if this is feasible. Again, I'm not sure what type of filter would be necessary to filter out COVID virus particles, but this is an idea that I thought should be evaluated to determine if it's feasible. I haven't seen anybody online or in the government or in the healthcare industry suggesting that these CPAP, IPAP masks can be converted to protective COVID-19 masks. I hope this is of a help to our country and our healthcare professionals. Um, so that's it.